Hi, I'm Lauren from Cutwell and today I'm going to talk to you about our indexable drills. We'd always recommend using an indexable drill when it comes to drilling large size holes. First up we have our king drill. This is one of our most popular selling tools at Cutwell and now I'm going to tell you why. This king drill is super rigid, really reliable and has low cutting loads. The drill works by having two different style inserts, the central and the peripheral. The different insert design for the central and peripheral pocket provides the ultimate performance and tool life by applying the best geometry to the cutting conditions. We do a range of grades for different materials including aluminium, cast iron, steel, stainless steel and exotics. The sizes in this drill range from 12 to 60.5 mil in 0.5 increments. We can offer 2D, 3D, 4D and 5D. We also offer a range called King Drill XL which covers sizes from 61 diameter to 100 mil diameter. It really is an amazing drill. I have hundreds of customers who absolutely love them. Next up we have the spade drill. This drill is equally as popular due to its versatility. With the spade drill you can drill holes from 9.5mm all the way up to 114mm. The lengths we offer in this is anything from 2D up to 25D. Each spade drill will hold a number of different size inserts for drilling different diameter holes. This makes it the most cost effective and versatile drill on the market. The inserts are all self centering which means you can achieve great accuracy even in deep holes. We offer the tips in high speed steel 5% cobalt, powder metal for those tricky stainless jobs, K20 solid carbide and P40 carbide for ultimate performance on all steels. The range covers most metric and imperial sizes. We can also offer flat bottom inserts for 11.5mm up to 45mm. If you haven't already tried one of these spade drills you really need to, our customers absolutely love them. This is Liam, our technical manager, and he's going to answer some of my technical questions about the drills. A popular question we get asked a lot is whether you should use through coolant when using a king drill. I definitely recommend using through coolant where possible. It helps with swath evacuation and leads to better tool life. I mean, sometimes it's not always ideal to use through coolant or your machine hasn't got the through coolant facility. Um, my old machine didn't have a through coolant facility and I got away with it but I had to be mindful of the depth I was drilling because the swarf were building up and causing me a problem. The next question is, would you recommend pre-drilling the hole? I wouldn't pre-drill the hole. Um, the special geometry on the central insert means that it's self-centering and it'll probably cause more problems by pre-drilling that hole. My final question on the King Drill is, would you use this on a manual machine? Definitely not. I really wouldn't recommend using this on a manual machine. It's so, so dangerous. Usually when you're drilling through the back of a billet, a small disc is ejected. And if it hits somebody, it could really, really injure them. Now, on to the spade drill. My first question is, why would you use a spade drill over any other drill body? So the spade drill is very, very versatile. You can drill from 9.5 right up to 114 millimetres with nine drill bodies. It's really, really popular in the subcon industry and especially in the oil and gas. My next question is, would you use this on a CNC or a manual machine? To be honest with you, you can use this on both machines. You can use it on CNC and manual. We have a weld and shank and we have Morse taper as well. And we have a thing called a coolant ring and we can also make it through coolant for the machines that don't have the through coolant facility. My third and final question on the spade drill is, would you pre-drill the hole? I absolutely wouldn't pre-drill the hole. The special geometry on the insert means it's self-centering. You'll probably cause more problems than it's worth. What I would recommend if you need to drill a really deep hole though, would be to go in with a stub drill, the same angle as the insert, and then go in with a longer drill as well. You're gonna have the best chance of success doing it like that. So, out of the two drills, which would you choose? To be honest with you, it is personal preference. It all depends on the job at hand, how deep you need to go, if you're doing it on a manual machine or a CNC machine. But if you are unsure, just give us a call. We'll be able to discuss your job and see which is the best drill for you. Brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions or queries or would like to order a drill, please call us on 01924 869 610. Thank you.